Okay, so the last lesson for this week is on systems of equations and three variables. Again, this is all leading to the lessons we're going to start next week, which is new material on matrices. So to solve systems of equations with any number of variables, the first thing you must have is the same number of equations as there are variables. So if you have four variables, it's four equations. Three variables, three equations. So all of these are going to have three variables we're solving for. So the first step is to choose two of the equations and eliminate a single variable. After you do that, you're going to choose the third equation and one of the other two and eliminate the same variable. Take the two newly formed equations and use elimination to solve for a variable. Substitute that value into one of the new equations to solve for another variable. And then substitute both values into an original equation to solve for the final variable. There are cases in which some of these steps will be skipped because you solve it comes out and solves earlier. There are instances in which you will be able to skip steps. So again, the goal is to find the three variables. They must be then checked in all three equations. So we're trying to find the solution. Okay. I wrote, I do selected problems, you do the rest, because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to do, but I think I'm just going to do the first three, and then you can do the rest from there. So let's look at number one. So again, we're going to find two equations and eliminate a variable. So if I look, all of these have a coefficient of 1 with the y. So I'm going to eliminate y, and I'm going to start with just doing the first two equations. So I'm going to rewrite 2x minus y plus 2z equals 15, and then negative x plus y plus z equals 3. And now I'm going to eliminate y by adding because a negative y plus a positive y disappears. 2x plus negative x is just x. 2z plus z is 3z. And 15 plus 3 is 18. So we haven't solved anything. When we had two variables, we would have been solving. But we've made it so that one of the variables eliminates. So then the step 2 says take the third equation, so the one we haven't used. And I like to sometimes number these. So I'm going to kind of make these color-coded. Equation 1, equation 2, and then I have a highlighter here. We'll make equation 3 highlighted. So we can kind of follow where we're going. So the first equation we used here. The second equation is here. So now we need to take the third equation, or the equation we hadn't used yet, which is the 3x minus y plus 2z equals 18, and a direction say, take that third equation and either of the other two, so I'm just going to use the middle one, negative x plus y plus z. It doesn't matter. It will work either way. So you pick one of the other two that you have already used, okay, and you're going to do elimination. You must eliminate the same variable, okay? So if you eliminate y on the first one, you're going to eliminate y here. So to eliminate y, we're going to add. 3x plus negative x is 2x. This is canceling. 2z plus z is 3z. And then 18 plus 3 is 21. Now what you do is you take your two new equations. So now it's like I need some more colors. I don't have any more colors, so I'm going to just underline this. The two new equations, and you're going to rewrite them, and you're going to eliminate one of the variables. So we're going to have our x plus 3z equals 18, and our 2x plus 3z equals 21. And we're going to eliminate either x or y, or x or z, it doesn't matter which one you choose. In this case, I'm going to eliminate z because it has the same coefficient. Subtract, we'll get rid of it. x minus 2x is negative x. 18 minus 21 is negative 3, so x is 3. So I found an answer. So now that was step 3 solve for a variable. Step four says substitute that value into one of the new equations, so the ones that we underlined in black. So we're going to take the three and substitute. I'm going to go into the top one and put x is three plus three z equals 18. I'm going to minus the three. Three z equals 15. Z is five. So now I've got a second solution. And then the final step is to substitute both of those answers the x is 3, the z is 5, into any of the three equations. I'm sorry, I just realized I was off the screen. Hopefully you can see that. So this is what I was doing. So now I'm going to substitute all three into the 
second equation. So I have negative x, which is 3, plus y, which we don't know, plus z, which is 5, equals 3. And if I combine my like terms, y plus 2 equals 3, and so y is 1. So now I have my three answers. I have x is 3, z is 5, and y is 1. When you write your solution, you always write them alphabetical. So we have 3, 1, 5. Final answer, 3, 1, 5. And then you should really check your answer. So if you go back up and kind of mentally check, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5, plus 2 times 5 is 10, 5 plus 10 is 15. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, plus 5 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10, 8 plus 10 is 18. So you can check to make sure they all work and you have your final solution. So now we're going to look at number 2. On number two, you might notice that the last equation, so if I just kind of make these color coded again, we have equation number one, we have equation number two, and then we have equation number three. And if we notice on the last one, it's already has two variables eliminated. So we can take equation number three and we can find a variable right away. So four Z equals negative 16 divide by four z equals negative 4. So sometimes, like I said, there will be shortcuts. So now that we have a value for z, we can plug that back into the other ones. So x minus 4y plus 3 times z, which is negative 4, equals negative 27. x minus 4y minus 12 equals negative 27. x minus 4y, I'm going to move the 12 over, equals negative 15. And then we can do the same thing with the other equation. So we had 2x plus 2y minus 3 times z, which is negative 4, equals 22. 2x plus 2y plus 12 equals 22. 2x plus 2y equals 10. So now we have our two new equations, both with an x and a y. So now we're going to use elimination with those two. And since they both have an X and a Y, I'm going to multiply. It's up to you, but I'm going to multiply this one by 2 to get the variables to match. So I'm going to keep this one as 2X plus 2Y equals 10. And I'm multiply that one by 2 and get 2X minus 8Y equals negative 30. Again, it's up to you. You could have multiplied differently, but you want to make sure you get either X or Y to match. So I have my X matching. I'm going to subtract. This is gone. 2 minus a negative 8 is 10y. Negative 10 minus a negative 30 is 40. And so y is 4. So now we have the value for y. We had the value for z already. So we're going to plug in wherever you choose. So I might just plug back in here, or you can plug back into one of the original. It's up to you wherever you want to plug back in. Um, I'm going to plug in, as I said, right here. So I have 2x plus 2 times 4 equals 10. 2x plus 8 equals 10. 2x equals 2. x is 1. So now that I have that, my answer is 1, alphabetical, 4, and then negative 4. Again, I can go back and check. We know if we plug into the first one, 1. Plus or minus 4 times 4 is 16, so that would be negative 15. Minus 12 is negative 27. If we plug in the second one, 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 12 is 22, and then the last one, 4 times negative 4 is 16. So that's the process. So I'll do one more if you want to stick around and watch. If you think you're good, then obviously you can go and work on this. So again, I'm going to change the color. So we can see the different equations to figure out where we're going. So in this case, we only have two variables in each. So our idea is to get them combined to eliminate. So it's kind of up to you, but I see a B and a negative B. So my head says, let me get rid of that. Let me put those together, see if we can get that B to eliminate. So I put A plus B equals 3, and then I have negative B plus C equals 3. And I want to get rid of the B, so I'm going to add. When I do that, the A has nothing to add to, so it's just A. 
the B's cancel. The C has nothing to add to it, so it's C, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So I've managed to eliminate the B, and I have A and C. And then nicely, if I look up here, my highlighted equation from up there, if I bring that down, A plus 2C equals 10, it's the same variables. So it worked out nicely for me. In order to get rid of the A, I'm going to subtract. This is gone. C minus 2C is negative C. 6 minus 10 is negative 4. C is 4. So now I can plug that back in to either equation with a C. So I'm going to do the negative B plus 4 equals 3. And so negative B equals negative 1. B is 1. And then I gotta find a, so we'll go to the first equation, a plus one equals three, a is two. And then alphabetically it would be a, b, c. So I found my answer. If I plug it back in, two plus one is three, negative one plus four is three, two plus eight is 10. And we finished up. So do the rest. Oh, I forgot. There's a word problem on the next page I was going to go over with you. So I guess we are not done. Let's go to that. We're going to look at number 10. The sum of three numbers is six. So again, we're working with three numbers. Okay? We're trying to find the numbers. So we're going to, I'm going to call them X, Y, and Z. So those are our three numbers. The sum of the three numbers is six. The third number, so that's Z, is the sum, is means equal, the sum of the first and second. So z equals x plus y. The first number, which is x, is equals one more than the third number, and the third number is z. So those are our three equations. I'm not going to solve them. I'll let you do that, but I helped you set them up. Okay. On number 11, Alexandra High School scored 37 points in a football game. Six points are awarded for touchdowns. After each touchdown, the team can earn one point for the extra kick or two points for a two-point conversion. Okay. How many touchdowns were made? So we've got to figure out all the different things. So we have touchdowns. We have extra kick. And we have two-point conversions. So I don't know, that's kind of how I just abbreviate them so we know what we're talking about. So touchdowns, I'm going to call D, extra kick K, and two-point conversions P. So what you're going to do is use those variables to combine to get the situations that are given to you. You need three different equations you're writing, and then you're going to solve and get just the value for D. Okay, we're asking for the value for the touchdowns only. Good luck.